Lesson 3. Modern Laser Applications In the previous lesson, we learned that lasers can produce light of different colors, shapes, and intensities depending on the type and design of the laser. Lasers can also be controlled very precisely, which makes them suitable for various tasks that require high accuracy, speed, and power. In this lesson, we'll learn about some of the modern applications of lasers and how they benefit different fields and industries. Some of the modern applications of lasers are fiber optic communication. This is the use of lasers to transmit information through thin strands of glass or plastic called optical fibers. The lasers can encode the information as pulses of light, which travel long distances without losing much signal quality. The optical fibers can carry more information than traditional wires or cables, and they're also more secure and reliable. Fiber optic communication is widely used for telecommunications, internet, cable TV, and data networks. Laser machining and fabrication. This is the use of lasers to cut, weld, drill, mark, or engrave materials such as metal, wood, plastic, or glass. The lasers can produce very high temperatures and pressures, which can melt or vaporize the material. The lasers can also create very precise and complex shapes and patterns, which are difficult or impossible to achieve with other tools. Laser machining and fabrication is widely used for industrial, manufacturing, and artistic applications. Trace element detection. This is the use of lasers to identify and measure the presence and amount of very small or rare elements in a sample such as air, water, soil, or biological tissue. The lasers can excite the atoms or molecules of the element, which then emit light of a specific wavelength. By analyzing the spectrum of the emitted light, the type and concentration of the element can be determined. Trace element detection is widely used for scientific, environmental, medical, and forensic applications. Hey guys, just want to interrupt this lesson for just a second to remind you that if you want a more immersive course experience while you're going through this course or any of our other ones, remember to check out the Laser Master Academy. Not only is it the number one way to support the channel, but you also get the written component, the audio component, if you'd rather listen to these lessons, and self-paced assessments so that you can make sure that you are retaining the knowledge that you're gaining while you're going through this course. Find out more at masters.lasereverything.net. Laser metrology. This is the use of lasers to measure various physical properties such as distance, speed, angle, temperature, pressure, or force. The lasers can produce very accurate and stable beams of light, which can be reflected, refracted, or interfered by the object or phenomenon being measured. By detecting and analyzing the changes in the light, the physical property can be calculated. Laser metrology is widely used for engineering, surveying, navigation, and research applications. Medical imaging. This is the use of lasers to create images of the internal structures or functions of the body, such as organs, tissues, or blood vessels. The lasers can penetrate the skin and interact with the body in different ways, such as scattering, absorption, or fluorescence. By collecting and processing the light that comes out of the body, the images can be formed. Medical imaging is widely used for diagnosis, treatment, and monitoring of various diseases and conditions. Lasers are devices that have many uses in science, technology, and everyday life. Lasers can produce light of different colors, shapes, and intensities, depending on the type and design of the laser. Lasers can also be controlled very precisely, which makes them suitable for various tasks that require high accuracy, speed, and power. Some of the modern applications are fiber optic communication, laser machining and fabrication, trace element detection, laser metrology, and medical imaging. Imagine life without optical media. The ability to read and store data on disks, no barcodes at the grocery checkout, no laser speed radar tickets. Well, okay, that's one we could do without. Still, 
Not a world I'd want to live in. For all their different uses, there are many different types of purpose-built lasers. In the next chapter, we'll discuss the various types of lasers and the differences between them that make them unique.